Adam Jackson, Brick City, evidence number 15. Here we're showing how they used characters derived from my mentors in the book and replaced them with real life characters. So I'm going to read from the book, page 42, and then you're going to see one of their counselors mentoring young Jaden. They use my people. All right, from page 42. I see you've gone and done the wrong thing, son. But if you want to get it together, I can help you, said the man. This is the hustler, the mentor. Casher looked up toward the flashing lights and saw the legendary ex-gangster known as the Hustler standing near the doorway with his thumb stuck into his belt and his feet spread. The entire scene was bathed in the ocean-colored lights from the cool house sign. Everything, garbage cans, streets, cars, and people were swamped in a cool shade of bluish green. For a single strange second, Casher smelled the chlorine smell of a swimming pool. He had heard about the Hustler's criminal reputation. Casher guessed that back in the day, the Hustler was the one who had taught the dope dealer to do people the way Dee Dee had done Casher, the old junkie setup. Now, here was the former drug boss trying to tell Casher to be a good boy. Casher poked out his chest and screwed up his face to look mean and tough. Don't Son, I left the book, I left the, uh, the uh, profanity out because I want the kids to be able to see this with no trepidation of the parents so they can follow the legal case that this uh, violation of my copyright constitutes. And now I'm going to play the part of the movie where you'll see King Saul doing the mentoring and the counseling of the young uh, thug or thugette just as they did in my book or similar to they did. Similarity, derivative, violation. Yesterday, my son's cousin called me. She said like 15 U.S. Marshals. She said that they was out there looking for me. They went to the houses, they went all around the area. Uh, and I'm like... Did you call? The guy is saying that he has a warrant for my arrest. So what's happening? Um, I had a case from 04. It was a... Um, so here they used the strong, the honest citizens to, to steal my work. Here, they derived the character situation from the book and they just happened to have a camera sitting there while they talked together about her situation her, and her future. Because they were making a movie, the movie was based on a source, the source was my book, Brick City. And because they used it without my permission, and I can prove that they used it, I want the full payment so that we can take care of our people, take care of our people, and take care of our people. A beef between uh, one female, her group of friends, and my group of friends, stuff like that. I trashed her. Like, I beat her up real bad. Mm -hmm. What she decided to do is go to the police. I'm already in the gang file. Things were so hot around that time. As soon as I heard that they were looking, I left. It ain't like you've been living that type of life. I mean, you gotta be out to deal with it. I figured, like, statute of limitations, oh wait. Why y'all still messing with me? You feel me? I'm working. I haven't been in trouble since. I haven't been back in the system at all, at all. So why y'all still messing with me? Cause we all living in, in doo doo, like Doc said. We live, you gonna get some shit on you. But if it's like that, what you gonna do? You gonna wait till they knock on the door? Gotta clean it up. Gotta clean it up before you can go into the new life. My baby graduates in like. Okay, so we see here's King Saw. I think it's Saw Sa or Saw, my brother's name is, the brother's name is. Uh, counseling Jada. That's right from uh, the Hustler, counseling Casher. And they use my people uh, in a very treacherous way to commit this perfidy with using the mayor of the city, the mayor of us all, as the principal
force behind this perfidy.